It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Well, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearn for freedom but fear to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm... We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! Connor. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. 
A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good.